and welcome back to a new favourites video. It is now the end of June, so I can go through all the products that I was absolutely loving for the past month. We've got a few pieces to get through, so I'll get started. First up, you might notice my hair is looking slightly different. It's quite dark here underneath, it's a bit lighter here, and the bottoms are lighter. It's because tomorrow I'm going to get my hair re-dyed, as I always do every nine weeks at the salon. However, I was sent this product from a company called Maria Nila. Maria Nila? Um, really gorgeous packaging, really, really sweet, and I was really intrigued by it when I first saw it. But I have a policy where I don't put anything else on my hair other than shampoos and conditioners. I definitely don't put colour on there. This product is a Vivid Violet Colour Refresh, and it's for those people who like lilacs, or they may have a white blonde and they want to go a little bit more purple. But this is a, well it's a non-permanent colour, so I'd imagine it probably lasts about four washes. So what I did yesterday, I washed my hair and it was really quite light. I'll insert a picture here of how my hair looked right before I dyed this. All I did with my hands, yes with bare hands, I added it all over my hair. I mean, I was only really experimenting with it, so I didn't go all out and really make sure every piece was coated, which is why it's a little bit, almost a little bit patchy now. But I think that if I'd done this properly, it would look so bright. I mean, look at that colour there. This is like literally my usual colour. So if you're a blonde and you're looking to go a bit more like my colour, this is the first time I'm able to recommend something that might actually help you. So that's quite exciting for me. So this is by Maria Nila. I'll leave a link below. Next up, I have a skincare favourite. And at the moment, I am obsessed with using exfoliating brushes. I've found that my skin is ten times better than it was even maybe five six weeks ago I feel like it's so much clearer in fact at the moment I think I might have like one spot blemish or spot at the moment it has really helped to clear my skin because I got into a bit of a routine where I'd wash my face I'd think oh yeah that's most of the makeup off it's fine I'd put cream on and obviously I was locking in so much dirt into my pores that I hadn't got out so now I always do a double exfoliate, so I make sure that I almost take off my eye makeup, I take off a bit of the base, then I'll apply a product over the top, I use an exfoliating brush to go over the top, and then I'll wash all of that off. So it's almost like a double cleanse. So, two products that I'm really enjoying are from Michael Todd. This is the Skin Defender a AHA Cream Facial Cleanser. It's just a really lovely, smooth cleanser that I add all over the face, on top of my makeup, really, really massage it into there. And it just really helps to kind of break down the makeup as well as really enhancing the skin and just, you know, just breaking down all that dirt and really giving it a good refresh. So I really, really like this product at the moment. So after I've put that on, I also use a Sonic Clear brush. I like this, it's a nice bright orange, but I'm sure they do other colours as well. Um, and with this, I literally turn it on, vibration, and just work it gently, because this can be quite exfoliating. I mean, also, Alex loves this. I've been used, seeing him use this all the time, constantly stealing it from my beauty cupboard, and he uses it too. He presses on a little bit harder, though, because I feel like his skin isn't quite as sensitive as mine. So just play around with it, depending on how sensitive your skin is. So I'll just turn on the vibration, and then in little circles, very lightly on top of the skin, I'll work it into the skin. But honestly, these things at the moment are changing my life. Just exfoliating brushes in general, but this one is a really, really fantastic one. I've been loving it, especially with this as a duo. So they're both from Michael Todd. Again, I'll leave all the links below. Let's continue with beauty. Tam. Saint Tropez was a brand I never went towards for a long time. I felt it was overhyped. I felt that whenever people talked about it, they said it was really orange and it just wasn't quite right for them. So I was always a little bit turned off until I got this bottle. This is a Self Tan Express One Hour Tam in this turquoise bottle. This is about £33 from Boots or any other drugstore, but at the moment, Boots have £11 off, so it's currently about £22. So if you can, go and get one. This is amazing. Make sure you have a mitt, because you will need a mitt. It's quite a dark mousse. Apply it all over your body. You can leave this on for an hour if you want a light tan, two hours for a medium tan, three hours for dark. I'll be honest with you, I apply this all over in the morning, stick my onesie on, chill out, do work, probably leave it on for about six or seven hours, then I'll have a shower and I just find my skin is glowing much darker, much more tan. It's the kind of tan I love, that kind of really dark olivey tan. And I'd probably say it will last you about five, six days before you feel like you really need to go again. This is a bad example. I don't have any tan on right now. It's definitely come off. Um, but I definitely need to go in again and 
this one is one I have been loving. Favourite scent of the month, I thought I'd give this a mention. Yes, these are very, very expensive. And I know when I mentioned one before, you're all like, why is that so expensive? Yes, it is, but it's also beautiful. So if you do love Tom Ford scents, I'm sure you'll love this one too. This one's Costa Azura, Order of the Fool, 50ml. It is beautiful. I think this would work for women and for men. I pers that's why I, I think that's why I love it so much. Because it has quite a unisex fragrance to it that is quite... I remember when I was speaking to Sam and Nick Chapman at uh, Pixie Woo about this and we were describing it as sexy man smell. Really gorgeous scent. I absolutely adore it. It's so summery and bright but also quite... It is quite sort of that really sexy man smell. I love it. A few more beauty products just to mention. I found this again in my beauty cupboard, my beauty drawer. It's a cheek to cheek swish and pop blush in First Love by Charlotte Tilbury. And I should always remember to keep this somewhere where it's accessible because it's most definitely my favourite blush ever. It's just, I've got it on now actually. It's just so natural, it can be built up. When I first saw this, I thought, oh, that won't really show up on my cheeks that much, but it does, and it gives the most natural flush. It's gorgeous, I just love this blush, so by far my favorite. And I'm gonna take this home this weekend and use this on my mom for her wedding day makeup, definitely, it's beautiful. And one last beauty product is the Max Strobe Cream. I think I saw Gabby chatting about this, Velvet Ghost, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go, because I really love the illuminated, dewy look at the moment. But it is great to add over your moisturizer, underneath your foundation just to really brighten up the skin, add some illumination, some radiance and just you know perk it up. Similarly the Becca Shimmering Enhancer, I think it's called, that's a very very similar product. I say that one's a little bit more shimmery but this is a really beautiful product that I very much like. And we've got three fashion pieces this time. First up, some Taylor Morris sunglasses. These ones, I had these on my Instagram and so many of you were like oh my goodness those glasses are incredible. And it's these, they're from Taylor Morris, really large purple. And these, literally, looking through these is like looking at my Instagram feed. It's like a lilac filter. If you follow my Instagram at Infro, you'll know a lot of my pictures have a very lilac, almost a lilac filter over them, very, very subtle. These frames give such a lilac sheen to everything, but I love the shape of them. The fact that they're quite slim almost still on my face, but really large and statement glasses, and they're just, yeah, they're beautiful. And really sort of robust frames as well. It's not a tortoise shell, it's almost like paint strokes of purple, and yeah, beautiful. I love those a lot. Something else I picked up recently for the gym, or for Barcore actually, that I go to. I've mentioned Barcore before. That is a favourite every single month. It's awesome. If you're in the London area or near Alderley Edge in Manchester, especially on the website, have a little look. I absolutely adore it. So I have got a few new tops to wear for Barcore recently, and they're just a little sports bra tops from Nike. I just find these fit me really well. I always size up though, like usually I'd go for an XS. These are size small because I find they're quite, they are very fitted and very, very small. This one particularly I love with a huge Nike logo. And this one's just with a small Nike tick. So it depends if you like to be bold and brash with your logos or much more subtle. But they fit in the exact same way and I just find that I feel quite confident in them when I'm working out. It's just, yeah, I really, really like these. And last but not least, I have to include these. Um, in all honesty, I bought them yesterday, I haven't worn them yet, but I have been searching for these shoes. How long have I been searching for these shoes, babe? Would you say four months, three Six months? months? Six months. It's been a long time. I've been searching for these for a very long time, ever since I put this up on Tumblr or on Instagram or something, and it is these. The Aquazura. Well, I don't actually know the actual name of these, but the ones I was looking for were the Aquazura Christie Flats. You may have seen them, they were black leather with the lace-ups and they had a gold trim around here. I even ordered them from America and they were going to be delivered sometime this month. But yesterday I was in Selfridges and I saw that they brought out this slightly different pair in a navy suede with these silver rivets on them, or studs I guess, and the silver heel. And I thought, you know, save getting them from America and paying all that shipping charges and, and everything in the black. Instead go for navy, it's a little bit more summery, it'll go with so many items I've got. And I was just absolutely over the moon that I could actually get them in my size. These have been so sold out everywhere, literally. I have scoured the internet for months and months and months to find them. 
and I finally got them. They're a more pricey shoe if you're into your premium shoes like I am and buying more luxury shoes then you might really really like these. Of course they're not really a budget shoe um, but I will try actually to leave some down below of where you can get some really amazing dupes because you can like Topshop at the moment, Office are doing dupes of these. I mean these are the Aquasura ones so these are much more pricey but there are some brilliant dupes out there so I'll leave some down below in case you really like these shoes but you want to have much more of a budget shoe. But yeah, I just love these so much, I cannot wait to wear them, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed that guys. If you did, make sure you do give me a like. Um, let's see if we can get this video to, you know, 4,000, 5,000 likes. That would always make me super happy. If you're new, then please do subscribe. It is free, just click the link down below to subscribe and my videos will always be in your feed for the next time you come back to YouTube. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you really soon. Bye! Mwah.